So hi everyone and welcome to my channel Hisama Artwork. In this video I'm going to show you my jumping war dwarf build. Uh, it is a physically uh, focused um, build so it deals um, physical damage uh, mainly mostly I try to focus on that because I finished the game as a fire mage that's like the easiest way to play this game once you start uh, then I played the more interesting version for me and I played as a air mage and now I tried the most challenging to be uh, physical I feel like it's pretty unbalanced towards the magical range damage um, build so let me show you guys what i put in for um combat abilities so you can pause it and see better uh i invested mostly in warfare as you can see here it does uh, five percent more damage whenever you add a point into this um Scoundrel gives you uh, mobility and for this build I really tried to focus on that. Uh, Polymorph gives you one free attribute to invest so I put as much as I could in strength. And then I put some of it in finesse because I initially wanted to play a finesse based uh, uh, combat but... Uh, these two items like you have an axe and a sword in your hand uh, it's gonna give you more damage than any spear and um, you also have an extra slot where you can stick in a uh, masterworks rune so that will give you even more damage as strength uh, because you get 5% damage uh, boost from that um, I mean, you can put it if you have dual daggers, but then the range is really small. But at the same time, uh, the range isn't all that important when it comes to spears. I kind of find that sword and axe is the best compromise. And I've heard some people say that there are not enough good spears in this game. I wouldn't say that. Like, let me take you to my... A uh, little display area where I have uh, weapons and you kind of be able to see that because they're pretty important let me go to my little war room here so these are kind of all the spears you can find in the game that are pretty good uh, what was it? Dwarven Royal Spear. Which one was it from the first map for Joy? Uh, maybe this one was it? Now this is fire. It was something with uh, earth damage. Did you find in that skeleton in the basement when you play with the kids? Spear of Foes Lucian's Needle I can't remember Anyway, like as you can see You have plenty of spears uh, The Anathema Sword, really overrated It's brittle uh, You have some staffs here as you can see, I like to change around and play with uh, different types of weapons. I would say that uh, rapiers are the rarest thing because I've only been able to find one uh, rapier. So you can use spells that are both uh, warfare and scoundrel and I think that's great. Why can't we have more of those? I just love my versatility in the game. And, oh, another thing that I found interesting. Come on, scroll up. You can do it. Sometimes it's glitchy. So you have this dagger that only deals poison, no physical. And I think that's awesome. And you also have the sword. Uh, sorry, two-handed axe. And it deals only fire. Ha! Ah! 
Isn't that cool? So if you want to play as a mage with a sword, <laughs> I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but it's interesting and I like it. And I like to I like to change things around and switch. So um, this is my main bow in case I want to jump away from the action and shoot with that. In case I need to throw anything elemental. I also have a lot of grenades here and this build is very good for that so if you have problems and you're a hoarder and you suffer from hoarding <laughs> stuff uh you can just dump a lot of points into strength and then you can carry your whole house around with you like i would carry a 200 death fog crate with me because why not maybe it comes in 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 hand uh useful you know in handy so uh like, if you can't help yourself and you need to, like, carry everything around with you, then might I suggest in doing a uh, physical build where you actually need to invest points in strength and you don't have to feel bad about, you know, taking points out of constitution and putting them in strength. And another thing why I don't... Uh, prioritize constitution because for example a lot of melee builds are damage sponges is because I am a coward and I like to jump away from danger so I have the tactical retreat I have the uh, cloak and dagger I have the wings and I have the phoenix dive somewhere here so I got four ways that I can jump out of harm's way and this one uh, reloads every turn so you have like three jumps from spread your wings and then jumps from these and then I also have uh, where was it? This one, Blitz Attack, which um, changes where you are, because you can, like, um, move, you jump from a target to another, but it's not very far, and then, so 4, 5, and I also have the Battering Ram, that's 6, and I also have this other thing, so I have, like, 7 ways to move without uh, walking, and then I can also walk a lot because I have how much in mobility? Let me check. Movement. I have 10. And then I also have a haste from the tactical retreat and haste just simply from um, my pyrokinetic. So I have invested, like you can see here, a bit of points in all of these things. Uh, just the bare minimum I needed. So I'm very hard to catch. And also I can go invisible with Chameleon Cloak. And I have Bless cl uh, Smoke Cloud. And I also have uh, Smoke Grenades and Bless. And you can make... Uh, a smoke blessed smoke cloud that makes invisible so I have three ways to turn invisible and also there's potions so I have what did I say six or f seven ways to jump or move and then four ways to go invisible and therefore just really hard to catch me so I've covered the attributes. Let me sh I showed you the combat abilities. I still have to show you my civil abilities. So everything is uh, put in thievery. Because that's how I got all of this nice gold here. And what's left I put in sneaking. I have one from Dwarven Guile. That's why I chose a dwarf. So that I would get a default one point in sneaking. So that I can go behind them. And for talents, I have, um, so first of all, most important was Lone Wolf. That's why I only played with two characters this time around. So that I can get the Lone Wolf, I think, is a really good ability. And I don't really need four characters, unless you're interested in the story. And for Divinity 2 and 1, the story wasn't that appealing to me, so I can forego it. I prefer to have the... Dome of Protection, because it's really useful early on. 
and um, you only get this one with custom characters not with story characters so have something to have in mind you get this automatically from being a dwarf uh, spider's kiss you kiss the creepy lady in um, driftwood sturdy from being a dwarf this one's very useful because um, you can get like it says here 1 AP worth of free movement per turn and I have my movement set to 10 at this point a lot of it is from scoundrel as you can see multiplier stuff like that and also I have uh, plus one movement in a uh, rune let me I will sh show you quickly here but then I'm gonna return to the equipment so you guys can see that as well and I also have it in my uh, thing on the neck what is it called amulet okay and this ring I only found it in driftwood is the only ring that has a slot and it works uh, like an amulet so I could have like two movement just from that so let me return to talents the pawn very awesome I love it uh, also when you put into scoundrel you can get this skill which is really great must have and then torture is another really good uh skill because then it ignores uh, the armor so very sneaky i love it and another thing that i got at uh, some point was the five star dinner because you can get a potion that is 11 strength and when that doubles you get 22 strength just from one potion with the five star dinner and then you can also get another four from food and you can get something something from i think f two or four from peace of mind i've showed in my previous video how that works uh, more in depth i'm trying to keep this video short so let me show you quickly what i have i have this helmet on I love the immunities, I have this thing on, love the immunities, and also that it has slots. I've changed from my previous video with this one because it gives me plus 3 strength, uh, and I find strength more useful for this build than uh, having a point in warfare, because it's like 5% versus 15%, better, get to whack him on the head with more strength. Uh, this gives me deflecting barrier, which I don't need because I have a weapon in each of my hands, but it has great statuses. You can search these uh, where they are. I'm not going to go over it again because I had a 45 minute video and I don't want it to be that long again because nobody's going to watch it. I'm trying to uh, be helpful. Um, equalize again, a really great spell. This ring, you can see here, pause the video, see the statuses. This one, again, pause the video, see the statuses. Do not kill R who makes sure he lives because he's a great trader, shopkeeper. He has really neat weapons in his shop. So make sure you save R who and he returns to his place. So they can sell you all of these awesome items. Some of them I found them in places. Like I said, you can uh, Google and see where blood rage is or where other unique items are and this is another great sword really awesome as you can see i have fire on all of my items and you can add that by using the stove and the source of oil always keep a barrel of oil in your cupboard and then you just add a weapon do i have one without fire sheep shears okay let's see and there we go ah it doesn't work on sheep shears okay fine another weapon i think i have fire on all of them yeah pretty much well you get the idea you're supposed to put the oil barrel there and with the stove and or source of fire and then you can add fire damage to all of your weapons like you see here i have 10 fire, 13 fire, and this one has uh, 
Oh, this is strength. So I guess it had already some electricity on it. Yeah, I put strength on these. Very good. So you can add fire and uh, this one already had electricity on it. But you can like put uh, runes of any kind inside and give yourself um, water damage or um, electricity damage. As you can see here, it does 15 damage as water if you put it on a sword. And then you have these labels here, which I don't think they give you any advantage in fighting. Maybe if you're talking, it will. Uh, and also, when I switch to... Uh, maybe if I need to use my bow, I will use this um, uh, helmet instead. And this armor, because it gives me 5 finesse and another 5 finesse, and it's really useful. Because as you can see, bows are finesse based. I wish the crossbows were strength based. I would have preferred that even if it had a, a minus one point mobility. Because I have like ridiculous amount of movement. And other useful items you will find in the game that you might find interesting. Like this one. Uh, this one's really awesome. I would have used this helmet instead. Um, but it sets silence, and even if I use these gloves that give you immunity to silence, it kind of flickers in between, and on some rounds I could be silent, and I don't want that. So, I decided not to use it, but I'm very upset. I really want to put this on. I would have been great for my build. Ah. Uh, okay. So, these are other neat things you might find along the way uh, if you have other builds just have in mind some really neat things I have collected like the uh, um, oops no go back sit on your chair like I have um, saved some of the fun stuff I found along the way there are rings that give you chicken spell or water spell like Migo ring is gonna give you the healing uh, spell. I have the more upgraded one because I need it to give me a lot of healing quickly and to remove disease and other things like that. So for me, my build clear wounds is better than um, restoration. And Migo's ring gives you restoration, which is really nice at the beginning of the game. Hanag ring, what did that do? Ah, uh, earthquake. Eh, it's not bad. Pretty shiny. I like it. I'm like a dragon hoarder. Okay, so... Other spells that are useful, I'm just gonna go quickly over, the, over them, and then we're gonna go fight some guys in arcs, so you kind of um, get an idea of how these all work together. So, terrain transmutation, very useful. Chicken is very useful when you're playing close range melee like I am because it is resisted by physical armor. And if you have run out of your um, battle stump and battering ram and you need to take someone out, uh, you can do tentacle lash, but it's not really effective against a mage. Uh, because they can still cast spells on you, like silence would be better on a mage, but if you're fighting against someone that is melee like you, this is very useful, because then they're just going to kick you in the butt, and they can't do very much, a lot of damage with their foot. Um, well, in this game, in real life, it would probably still hurt. Uh, okay, so onslaught the the melee damage uh, the melee spells in for warfare are kind of disappointing. I find the ones for Scandrel more interesting. Like even overpowered, I didn't use it because I don't think it's worth the three source points. I have apotheosis at the moment because I need that for really cool combinations of necro that are grasp of the starved, blood roof storm. And then on the other character, I also have uh, Toto of the Necromancer, because I made a Necromancer build to complement and support my uh, Jumping War Dwarf build. <laughs> um, 
like I said, yeah, and I have some heels that I never really use much, like first aid, but it's good to have them for that one time you do need it. And of course, armor frost, and where was the other one? Where are you? Uh huh. Fortify. This, I think, is a lot more useful than bone uh, armor, just because. Uh, whenever I need to actually use bone armor, there are not enough bones around. So it was kind of like, which slot, memory slot do I use? Because I don't have that many memory slots on uh, this character. I mostly have on my mage, a necromancer uh, build, uh, a lot of memory slots. So I was pretty stingy with this one. I was trying to like only use what I really am going to need, so... Adrenaline, indispensable. Um, blood storm, raining blood uh, can be very useful as well. Blood storm is awesome, but you need source, so you have to use apotheosis so that you can use other things like blood smoke cloud. So you kind of have to keep in mind this, but this build is fairly low on brain power, <laughs> uh, so you don't need to. Uh, think too much ahead because I still want to be relaxed and enjoy this game and I really dislike uh, scum saving because it breaks my immersion but otherwise skin graft is a very cool uh, spell it uses source to make you can make the scroll out of uh, I've said in my other video so I'm not gonna go over how to make all of these you can watch the longer version so yeah, uh, my other spells, this one is very good for crowd control, uh, as well as nether swap and teleport, and you can have scrolls for teleport as well, which you can make fairly easily. Uh, and of course, uh, battle stomp and um, battering ram also for crowd control, very good. Okay, let's go and fight, because I'm suspect this is why you came to see it's uh yeah cathedral i think is closer everybody goes and fights on that bridge so that's what i'm gonna do as well maybe there's a good reason they do that so i'm not gonna use the death fog now because it's too easy although i am tempted i have so many crates what am i gonna do with them Okay, so make a bit of blood. Let's see, they're level 18. Oh, I'm level 21. It's gonna be a bit unfair, I guess. Okay, so to, 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 to get ready. I'm gonna wait for it to uh, load back. My might need it. Oh, corpse explosion again, very good. Uh, deals a lot of physical damage. And Infect, also awesome, deals a lot of physical damage. So these are supplementary spells you can uh, use. And also I've put a lot of points into Wits. Uh, because that will give me initiative when I fight. And I would rather put Wits here so that I can take him out than get armor with a lot of Wits. Okay, how am I gonna start this one? I guess I'll go the easy route. You, fight me. Marked. So if you're marked, I think you cannot turn invisible. Ha! Ah. Guess we'll be need to be sneaky about it. Too far. Oh, and you can also drink this tea, where was it? Yeah, and now it's gonna... For three turns, my spells are gonna be cheaper. Forgot to mention that.
I don't know if there's anything that can clear that. But I'm just gonna go a bit farther. Oh, there's another guy here. But don't go too far, because then you might leave the fight. And you might not want that. So, like, I wouldn't jump here, even if it might be better. I'm gonna jump there. And hopefully survive, because there are a lot of them that are gonna wanna... ...cause me pain. Should I risk it and do a delay turn? Let's risk it. I'm feeling confident. Look at them gather all around there. Ha 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 ha. My plan is working so far. Okay, I'm not crippled. Good, good, good. Yeah, slightly on fire. Don't cripple. Yes. I have some armor. I'm like, like not completely, but naked. <laughs> okay, so apotheosis. Ah, bad positioning. Did not think this through. Okay. So. Try not get as many as you as I can. Did my other. No, they did not load back. Okay. So. Bloodstorm. No, because that's going to eliminate. Hmm. I want to get some of them under butts. So I need to figure out a way to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit three of them. That one's uh Archer. Hmm. 
<laughs> and I'm kind of thinking my options here. Because I already did the crippling thing, so I can eliminate this. Um, blood puddle here. Who's coming before me? Paladin Mark's woman. Are you Paladin Mark's woman? Okay, so you can't hit me. You're just probably gonna stand there and be angry. I am hasted. No, let me put a haste so I can start with an extra AP next turn. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did the teleportation? No. It didn't load yet. Hmm. Like, I don't want to consume the strength and other things yet. I'm kind of waiting for more of them to gather. Am is my foot in there? No, I think I'm safe. So that was the corpse's explosion. Very useful. You have 6,000. You have nothing. Huh. Let's see. What else do I have to jump that I haven't used yet? Well, I guess I can save that. I don't want to use all of them. Use the bull horns. It also does some damage. miss <laughs> so now I just have to worry about that guy that may or may not die I also have uh, the resurrection thingy, but um, if you're playing just one person against everybody, it's not very useful. So, on Necromancer, it uh, heals you when you do damage, so you can see here, heal from the damage dealt. Okay, is my teleport now ready? And... So this one still has one turn, this has three. Let me show you this skin graft while I'm still in apotheosis because it's really awesome. And now boom, all of my things are restored. So chicken guy. And I'm not gonna nether swap my Self. And... 
I want to use the whirlwind to show you that. So I am. Let's see. Whirlwind is gonna cost me one point. So I have three points to kind of use my other stuff. So 75. Consume. So this is more to show you guys how I got to 111 strength. And this is not a good position to be in because if I don't kill them all now, I have no armor left. So it's gonna be pretty tricky. So let's see if any of these guys kill me next turn. That was lame. Barely scratched me. Okay, he does more damage. You guys are so dead. So, even if I'm crippled and I shouldn't be able to move, with Blitz Strike, I can. Because logic. And let's go invisible because now I can. And I'm gonna get... These are really handy to have. Now the burning has going to remove my invisibility. And this guy... Even if I'm blind, I can do a lot of stuff. As you can see, chicken! Let's just uh, kind of <laughs> using my spells here. And that's it. Oh, chicken, you're still alive. So resilient. Just doesn't want to die. I can respect that. But you won't get away too far. And that was it. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this little kind of tutorial explanation build. I really do enjoy be having a lot of uh, mobility and uh, being able to go invisible like you've seen just to avoid um, getting hit. Also useful because it always switches the map is to put some lights around so you have a way to uh quickly guess we're supposed to go so yeah all back home and co cozy i've took all of these items from around the maps and kind of decorated the place because i like flowers and lights so thank you all for watching i uh, hope you've enjoyed it hope you find it useful i think it's a very a lazy idiot proof uh, type of build that uh, also lets you enjoy um, play styles that otherwise you might not consider because playing physical can be um, 
pretty hard, I guess, for a beginner. I know a lot of people avoid it and just go the fire route. Um, I've played that way in the, in the first playthrough, and then I tried to play the other ways because they are very interesting. And um, the Divinity game is very uh, versatile. Uh, I love the gameplay in it. Oh, I didn't even get to tell you about the uh, summon inner demon. So you get this book from Jahan. It's very useful uh, if you're playing as a mage against other mages. Really cool. Also, you can also get the planar gateway. I didn't because I have enough mobility and this is for crowds and I'm just playing by myself. So I prefer to have <coughs> the jumps and uh, things like that. So yeah. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Mm -hmm.